Hi, uh, video number 13. As a follow-up to sorting, we always discuss filtering. What sorting does is it just rearranges my data. Um, what filtering does is it changes what I see on the screen. But similar to sorting, filtering does not take away any of the data. It just hides the pieces that I might not want to see right now. So let's say we'll go back to our example when we were adding the day of the week and say that I want to be able to see my bike data specifically on weekends. So what I can do is I can filter my spreadsheet so that I only see information from Saturdays and Sundays. Let's talk about how to do that. The easiest way to set up a filter is right here in our toolbar to click on the little create a filter icon. Once I create, click on create a filter, I'll notice that two things have automatically changed. First of all, my column and my row um, indicators, titles, numbers, letters have turned green. And I also see this tiny little filter icon in each of my columns. So what I could do right now, let's say if I wanted to know the day of the week, is I click on the little filter here and it brings up all the possible days of the week that are here. I'm gonna clear all of the selections and just choose Sunday and Saturday. And then I'm going to scroll down and I'm gonna click okay. Now look what happens. Now, if I go through my data, I'll notice, I mean, it's too many, to see that I only have Saturday and Sunday. Well, the easiest way to see is because before it went Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and now I only see Saturday and Sunday. Um, none of my data is hidden, but if you look over here, we can see, let's look at to where it breaks. We can see over here that it skipped from row number 235 to row number 4,513. Now, I know that this is the column that has the filter built in because it has, it changed from having the three lines to having this little funnel. Now, let's say I say, I wanna know on this day of the week, I would like to be able to find all rides that happened between, let's say, 10 a.m. and noon. So now I can click on the start time filter. And what you'll notice when this loads, and it's gonna take a long time to load because there are so many options because each individual start time is different. But what I can do is I can filter by a condition. And I can say if it is, hold on, whoops. We're gonna go back here closed because it's having trouble dealing with such a big data set. Let's see if we're going to be able to do it. I'm going to filter by condition. I'm clicking down from where it says none. And I'm going to choose that it is between, it's between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock. And then I'm gonna press okay. And let's see, see now I have even fewer. The first one that I have begins on line 80 and it gives me just the data that happened between these two times. Now, I could keep going and filter smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. What I want you to understand about a filter is it's not so much that it changes anything, because it does not, a filter does not change anything, it just changes what I see on my screen. And it allows me to group together visually the data that's important to what it is that I am looking for. So I want you to go back into your data set now and play around with filtering and choosing exactly what you're able to see on the screen.